Hey guys, it's Green Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 8 of Windbreakers. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Maybe it just to show off. You're right. Did you care about him?
but damn, babe. But, like, you know, once again, his eyes. So what he says goes. And of course you don't leave because you care about him too much. And again, he did the. Oh! He just pretty. I can't with him. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Damn. The fact that they go both of them just going back to back. Jesus Christ. Right? They they the type that love fighting like so much. Mm.
I mean, in a way, they're both similar. There's no way in hell you two can keep going. Literally end it in a fucking draw. Mm-hmm. But you didn't. Mm-hmm. I mean, even if he did, he we know he would have lost. That's the thing.
but you care for him. That's the thing. After your match and such, and the fact that you two are so very similar. You did. Which are making me fucking smile, baby. I <laughs> <laughs> right, especially after kicking your second in command. <sighs> Do not make me be a whore right now, sir. <laughs> the way he looks, oh my god. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. to break his fucking arm. Right. You, you definitely would have had your ass handed to you. The slide, though? Jesus. That definitely was triggering. Y'all saw that, right? (laughs) 
That is so fucking Jesus Christ. I can't say I can't say I can't say dirty thoughts. I can't say dirty dirty thoughts. But that was immaculate. Thank you. The the nah. <laughs> <laughs> They knew what they was doing with that ending. They they certainly did. I mean, mm. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God, he's so hot. I can't. Okay. I feel bad for Joel because, I mean, dead ass, baby, which is fighting for Doji and being like, I will be that one to take the burden, that stress, everything off of you so you don't have to worry about it. But because he did take that from him, he honestly was dealing with a lot of stuff and issues that he has. The fact that to Choji just smack dabbed him, like it, what, he wasn't. Like he was nothing. And, and that's supposed to be like your friend. Like dead ass your best friend. Even though you're you're a leader. You're the one who has to lead for everybody else. You have to show everybody else like how everything goes. Because once again at the end of the day you are a leader of this group. But you would think that, yes, just because you're second in command, also your best friend, who you are supposedly tight with, literally just freaking lost, it, it's still, at the end of the day, okay, this, like, oh my god, the, the motto, the quote that you two abide by, that this whole group is built upon, regardless, whether you lose or not, you're still getting your ass beat. And such. And that is a little fucked up. I get his little, like, complex that he has where if he, you know, defeats someone, he feels truly, quote, unquote, free. It's like him having a god complex without actually having a god complex. Like, he's not like Yagami or so many other char uh, characters in anime that have had that god complex and such. And, you know, because, the power and shit. But power has really corrupted this kid's mind. And such. And so you really feel bad for his whole entire group because of the fact is he dead ass talking smack about all y'all. And such. Because <laughs> it could not be me. If I was a part of a group and I find out somebody is dead ass talking shit about me, yet, well, one, number one, I'm going to call you out on your shit because, like, itch. Because I, I see now, I because I used to be like this, I was the type of person. And I wasn't like this in high school, but maybe I still was. I don't really remember. But I remember from elementary school up until middle school, I was always having people walk all over me and tell me X, Y, and Z and da da da, -da and always wanting to start shit with me for some weird reason. But I think because of the friends who I hung out with, and even you, you even have friends who are like that too and such. But once I established ish and people got to know me on that ish and such, a lot of people really were afraid of me on the shit that I did because I didn't play when it came to certain things. Yes, I can talk, I can, I can sweet talk you as much as I freaking can. But when it comes to a point, especially when you fuck me over and you really fuck me over. You don't want to see that side of me. I, and that's why I always tell everybody when they first meet me, like, hi, hey, yeah, I'm the sweetest girl that you can be. But once you cross me, that's it. Like, don't, you, dead ass, you're not going to be seeing the sweet little girl, the sweet girl anymore. Like, <laughs> dead for your ass. Because really, that did happen, like, not fairly recently, but this was, like, maybe a good three to six months ago um, with someone. And... Now, I, 
I thank God that person is not around me anymore because especially like because we used to work together <laughs> and such and she I felt like she wanted to always be the boss of everybody and I'm like Bobo you can't do that <laughs> no what you doing over here Mm-mm. like seriously but don't do that shit I, I, dead ass like if I was in that group I'd fucking leave and such I'd be like you know what can I join y'all please can we all like have a freaking gangbang of kicking his ass cause he, he is on his little freaking high horse I really did like this kid up until he just did that to someone who was supposed to be your best friend. Fuck that kid. I'm sorry. Goodbye. No. Mm -mm. You ass in my book. I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of my face. Okay. Other than that guy. <laughs> Other than that, guys, that was a reaction view towards episode 8 of Woodbreaker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Show the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Thursday for episode 9. Um, thank God I am feeling better, BTW. Mind you, please <laughs> always make sure you eat because <laughs> I didn't eat last night. And then when you finally eat first thing in the morning and your stomach is like, bitch. <laughs> But until then, I will see you guys all next time. <laughs> Bye.